But I'm actually trying to tell you that I, I got robbed. I got robbed. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mamus Koka. For those of you who are joining for the first time, remember to click subscribe if this thing makes sense to you. I'm rushing the intro because I'm actually running late. I'm going to an event. In Mamus True Star. And I'm going to meet up with my friends at the event and I will be taking you guys with me. Hopefully I can record while I'm there, but I'm running late. I'm supposed to be driving with Mary Lee, but she dished me. So I'm on my own. But anyways, the theme for the event is New York night with a touch of floral. So I went, uh, I wasn't going to do all black, but this is my whole fit. Just pulled some archives together, honey. And this is giving a little bit of floral, you know, just to, they said a touch of floral. And that's what I'm doing. Long hair, don't care. Yeah, let me go and stop doing the most. But yeah, that's my favorite. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use this, this Dior in the building. And I wore black heels, um, just the red bottom to complete the look so this is the look guys i hope you guys can see it i'm in my kitchen with this that's the look and i'll see you guys when i get there but tonight you can't call my phone tonight you can't call along tonight the rap is on the power what the money will live fast but still baby no. guys i have to i can't believe i'm even doing this video the fact that i'm doing this video right now explaining to it's just it's it's crazy i i haven't been able to wrap my mind fully about what happened anyways so from the last clip you guys saw that was wednesday today is actually friday that was wednesday um the event i was going to lovely event the event was actually the cruise vodka um in collaboration with SA Fashion Week. So this week, so Wednesday was the opening night, which is the opening party to open up, you know, Fashion Week that's happening this week here in South Africa. So I was invited, I went to the event with Mary Lee and Nicole. Cannot believe having a great night with my girls. Did We did well, we attended the event, we did what we needed to do and we left we decided we're leaving um we're going to go home so the three of us went out went to the parking lot and we talked you know just catching up and stuff like that so nicole and i decided we're driving together because she um she didn't drive her car so i'm like okay i'm gonna drop you off on my way home and then you know because i haven't seen her we're also catching up so mary Lee just left so okay cool we're driving we're leaving the event now we just decided let's just grab something to eat guys i'm giving you this story to tell you why i can't i don't even right now have footage the event the event was at four ways right which is william nicole um i think i'm not i don't know how to pronounce the name of that particular place where the event was happening um but it was a venue i think like a wedding venue lang hang lang hang something i'm not sure it was right opposite the Beverly Hills complex, like um, residential complex thing for us. So when we drove out, we're like, okay, we're driving on William Nicole. We got on William Nicole, we're driving on William Nicole. So we're like, let's just stop at McDonald's and grab something like fries or something to eat because we we're quite hungry because we didn't eat at the event. Okay. Nicole and somehow stopping and saying we wanted to get something to eat you know when you get into a crossroad of should we go to McDonald's should we go to KFC should we go to McDonald's KFC Nicole and I were literally asking ourselves in that moment and we're like we're already at McDonald's let's just go and we even debated going into McDonald's like we debate do we want to eat do we I was like you know what let's just get it. we're already turned let's just get it you know let's just get something to nibble on because yeah um we stopped at mcdonald's i placed my order and there was a car right behind us and there's no car in front of us so I placed my order and now it's like it's time for me to pay while i was you know 
I reached out my phone because I was using the Apple Pay. I tapped. As I brought my hand inside the car, all I felt was an arm of someone just yanking at me and like grabbing my phone. Like it, I just felt this wave of an arm like on my side because obviously I'm on the right hand side. So my hand came in. I did not even see it coming. You know when you could like, I have very good reflexes. I'm a quick reactor. Like I, I re my reflexes are good. And I think that moment, it just hit me so hard. Like it was so fast. It happened so quick. And this guy just before I and grabbed my phone and I'm like, we're screaming, the guy at the McDonald's um, pay station where we just made payment, shocked, looking at us. And I see this guy, we turn, he goes like, oh my God, he just stole your phone. I'm like, oh my God, he just stole my phone. We see the guy run into a white, that looked like a VW, like, you know, and drove off. It was the most shocking and most unexpected thing that could have happened to us that night especially when you have such a nice time and then it turned into this that's how my phone was gone that's how i got robbed because that happened on wednesday yesterday was thursday i was still obviously shocked but now i haven't i haven't to go to the bank i having to go to vodacom block it, blacklisting the phone doing the same swap ordering new bank cards just an all-round inconvenience going to the police station because when that happened so we drove off okay let me backtrack so we drove off like the mcdonald people all came out and were like they said no they've got camera footage they've got camera footage they've got the cctv footage from that mcdonald there's no way it didn't, it didn't pick up the guy's face because when we looked at the footages i haven't seen like when we looked at the camera setup where the guys were parked that camera setup caught them very well in terms of the type of car they are driving registration and i'm sure the face of the guy when he was coming in we drove and then we spoke to the manager and they were like no you need to go to the nearest police station in four ways there there's uh, they mentioned the name of the police station and i'm like i must go to a police station at this time scared out of my boots I'm even like, like screaming at them, why don't you guys call the cops, call the cops, like, like to Nicole, why can't they call the cops? She's looking at me like, babe, call the cops, the, the, the guys have gone, now you have to go, I'm like, I don't even understand how this works, so, we're like, with them, the manager says to us, so no, um, we, you need to open up a case for, I'm like, let's check the footage, let us at least check the footage so that we can get the registration number, it just happened now, we're not going back on she's like oh no um we she's like oh no you need to get a police station first and then open up a case and then um the detectives will come and they request the footage she can't give us the footage or she can't check the footage i'm looking at this lady like you did craze for your head i just need to get the number of the car the number plate so that when i go to the police station and at least i have some sort of evidence or like my friend we could have used the phone to record on screen to see what was happening then we go to the police station and i'm looking at this woman like something they do you for your head open that thing give us that footage and she walks and then she asked me the part that just made me look at her and just lost my brain cells on that woman was like she says to me give me your number so that when we come tomorrow i can get the um i can give me your number so that I can call you when I've accessed the footage. I'm like, something they do you for your head. I was just robbed off my phone and you're asking me to give. Literally her colleague was just there like, I'm gonna have to explain to you what's happening. This woman doesn't even have the key. She can't even tell you. She doesn't have the access to the control room where she can get the footage. She has no way of doing it. Instead of her to find a way to explain or call another manager that can help, but she was the manager that was on duty. I think she's a manager in training. I don't know what. So she was like, please, let's take your number, your friend's number, and they will call you the next day and tell you that we've been able to get the footage and we can give it to you that you can go and open up your case and stuff. This could have been worse. This could have been 
a really, really bad, sticky situation. My husband could have been getting a call from whoever that something bad has happened. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful that God spared us. God said, not today, Satan. Not today, devil. You know, go get these children. You know, that's why it's so important sometimes. Not sometimes. It's important to pray before you go out. It's important to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus, the safety of Jesus, the, the angels surrounding you every time. Even when you're going to groove, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus because you just don't know where things will go. These people are very desperate. Like that's a desperate move for somebody to actually rob you from a drive through That's how bad things have gone. And that's how... I don't want to say creative these criminals have become, but that's how desperate these criminals have become. So in that instant, do we run after the guy? We can't even run after the guy. How do you run after somebody like that who just robbed you? Like, cause you're going after the person who just robbed you is like going, looking for trouble, playing with a loaded gun. Because out of his desperation of him wanting the phone, like your life could be in danger because he wants the phone. That's all he wants. He doesn't want anything from you. But if it's like a robbery gone wrong and they decide to, to use force. That guy is so desperate he would do anything to get that phone. So I just like, you know, it is what it is. Um, life is trying to distract me. And just the last vlog I just posted and I was telling you guys how I was going through this anxiety and funk and whatever it is that I was going through. And I just was like telling myself even just picking up the camera and vlogging and doing what i'm doing and pushing through and working on this amazing brand and i cannot wait for it to come into fruition and things like this happen it's just a distraction i really see it as a distraction it is a full-on distraction of the devil trying to come and mess with my mind but you know go win you know go win because you know what? I am a child of God. I am a child that is loved by the Heavenly Father. I know for a fact that I have won. You know? Like all these things that happen. I just want you guys, if you're listening to this and maybe you've experienced something like this, don't discourage. Don't flinch. Don't give up. Yes, I am traumatized. Yes, I, am, I got scared. Yes, I'm a human being. It's natural for something like that to happen and you feel scared today. Because this happened on Wednesday, so today is th Friday, right? Today's Friday. Yesterday I was just on go, go, go. Okay, the night that it happened, when I got home, I really genuinely couldn't sleep because the whole time you're replaying the event in your mind over and over again and trying to figure out what could I have done differently? How could I have prevented this? It's almost like you want to go back in a time machine to, to preempt what was about to happen and um, do something about it. I've been replaying that whole incident in my mind over and over again, over and over again. The first night I really couldn't sleep. So yesterday when I woke up, babe was just like consoling me. Obviously throughout the night he was just talking to me and encouraging me. But the whole time still I wasn't upset about the phone. I wasn't upset about what I lost. I was more upset that I felt like the way it happened, the way, the, the shock of just that like it just it it made me so so scared but at the same time sad and angry also you know like how dare you like how dare you how dare you how fucking dare you you know that's just how I was feeling but i didn't get much sleep so yesterday was all about like trying to do damage control and just like fix bank stuff and all that some stuff yeah so today's friday i'm getting ready now because i need to go to i have to go to the mall because i want to get um i actually want to get a spit what do you call this the mel melting spray for my wig because this wig um let me show you guys I want to like it needs to melt okay I, I've put so much spray on it like it needs to melt properly and I also need to and then on top of it woke up this morning and my period came so I think it's also because of the stress that came and it's quite a heavy so flow and I don't have a lot of 
sanitary towels i have like a few but i need to get more so i'm just i'm just gonna go do that come back pick up the kids from school and see what the day has for me you know and just work i'm actually just gonna be working on my content for my website because i just decided i'm gonna do a website for my brand i'm gonna tell you guys soon though i'm gonna tell you guys soon when rain is coming you see you devil you can't get me i tried to come and make me dizzy you know, run from left to right my dear you don't lose because i'm on the other side and god is good no weapon formed against me shall prosper now your papa and i bum me nope because my father is the owner of this universe and you the devil you are a rejected fallen rubbish you know rubbish yeah so let me go and um get the things i need to get uh, the inconvenience also is another thing my daughter's birthday is on monday she's having a a party a, a party on sunday this sunday and all the invites that i've sent to the moms i don't even know how i'm going to communicate to them i did a sim swap yesterday so i'm actually going to activate put it on the phone now today um so that i'm able to i don't know i don't remember the last time i did backup icloud all this wahala i don't know and i don't want to stress about that i can only control what I feel and how I um, react. Anything else that is not going to serve purpose and serve, bring me peace, I'm not going to stress about it. That's just how I'm doing with the situation because not today, Satan, not today. Anyways, let me go and I will see you guys when I come back. I'll probably take you guys with me. Shabbat. Someone's birthday tomorrow. I'm a birthday party today. And we're going to a birthday party right now. Oh. 